Ampoats are a clade of tetrapod vertebrates comprising the reptiles, birds, and mammals. Ampoats lay their eggs on land or retain the fertilized egg within the mother, and are distinguished from the anamniotes fishes and amphibians which typically lay their eggs in water. Older sources, particularly prior to the 20th century, may refer to amniotes as higher vertebrates and anamniotes as lower vertebrates based on the discredited idea of the evolutionary great chain of being. Amniotes are tetrapods descendants of furlimbed and backboned animals that are characterized by having an egg equipped with an amnion, an adaptation to lay eggs on land rather than in water as the anamniotes including frogs typically do. Amniotes include synapsids mammals along with their extinct kin and sauropsids reptiles and birds as well as their ancestors, back to amphibians. Ample embryos, whether laid as eggs or carried by the female, are protected and aided by several extensive membranes. In eutherian mammals such as humans these membranes include the amniotic sac that surrounds the fetus. These embryonic membranes and the lack of a larval stage distinguish amniotes from tetrapod amphibians. The first amniotes referred to as basal amniotes resembled small lizards and evolved from the amphibian reptile amorphs about 312 million years ago, in the Carboniferous geologic period. Their eggs could survive out of the water, allowing amniotes to branch out into drier environments. The eggs could also breathe and cope with wastes, allowing the eggs and the amniotes themselves to evolve into larger forms. The amniotic egg represents a critical divergence within the vertebrates, one enabling amniotes to reproduce on dry land free of the need to return to water for reproduction as required of the amphibians. From this point the amniotes spread around the globe, eventually to become the dominant land vertebrates. Very early in their evolutionary history, basal amniotes diverged into two main lines. The synapsids and the sauropsids, both of which persist into the modern era. The oldest known fossil synapsid is Protoclepsidrops from about 312 million years ago, while the oldest known sauropsid is probably Paleothrys, in the order Captorinida, from the middle Pennsylvanian epoch C306312 million years ago.